Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Karen Harris. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe down below. I do upload every other day, so you do get quite a bit of content from me. So I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about this new palette that I had a chance to play with. It's going to be a first impressions video on the Ace Beauté quintessential palette. So if you guys are interested in hearing my thoughts, just keep watching. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into this first impressions video. So you guys, I ended up finding this palette basically on Instagram and it looked really vibrant and beautiful. And I was like, wow, this is a really gorgeous palette. And it reminded me a lot of the Nubian 2 by Juvia's Place. Just like the blues in here or the blue shade that's in here. It just kind of gave me that vibe. I don't know what it was, but Honestly, if you look at them now, I guess they're kind of close, but you know, and so I was like, oh, I have the Juvia's Place palette. I don't really need another indie brand to, you know, crush on and start a collection with, but I was just so, so curious and I kept putting it off and putting it off and then the palette sold out and I was like, you know what? It sold out, so I can't get it anyway. la di da di da Fast forward to a week or two ago, this palette did go on sale for Halloween and I hadn't even realized that they restocked, but the palette was on sale for 30 bucks. Now this regularly retails for $38.99, which is almost 40 bucks and I was having a really hard time paying that price because then they tack on shipping, which is $4.99, making the palette over $40, almost $45, which is basically the price of a palette at Sephora. So I was like, oh, I've never heard of this brand. There weren't a lot of YouTube videos on it because if I can't find information on a brand or it's not a brand I'm familiar with, my first instinct is of course to go to YouTube and look up review videos. There are a few, but um, nothing I was really you know, interested in and I just didn't feel like there was enough information for me to justify this purchase. So put that off, but then when it went on sale, I ended up getting this palette for $34.99, which I felt like was a decent price and I got to support this company. So Ace Beauté, it seems like they are in the indie market and they're really famous for their lashes. Now I don't really wear lashes very often and I always buy my lashes from the drugstore. So this was not a brand I was familiar with at all. This eyeshadow palette seems to be their first venture into the makeup industry. So I'm very excited for them. So currently this palette is back in stock if you guys are interested in picking it up. I personally think it is kind of mid-range, a little bit on the high price point, but also now drugstore makeup is so expensive and it's it's hard to like distinguish between like drugstore and high end and then there's like the luxury brands. So I feel like things are really <laughs> blurry lines. So I would just say for me, this is definitely in the mid point and is very comparable I mean price point wise to like ABH and stuff like that and then I'm not sure if this is permanent for them I couldn't find the information on their website it didn't say that it was limited edition so I'm going to assume that it's permanent but if one of you guys know definitely let us know down in the comments as well I also did look at the box and on here in the back it does say that it is made in the People's Republic of China and this product is cruelty free and um, from what I understood, things that are made in China can be cruelty free as long as they're not sold in China. Um, the law is that if it is going to be sold in China, it needs to be tested on animals. But if it is not going to be sold in China, then the product does not need to be tested on animals is my understanding. So this product is cruelty free and it has a little bunny on here. It also has a 12 month shelf life. I personally think the packaging is very cool and a little more mature. It doesn't feel like cheap packaging, I don't think. I mean, I think they definitely, you know, kept it pretty classy. I don't really know that the Mandela's go with the meaning of like quintessential. I feel like it's a little bit disjointed, but that might just be me. I, I personally think everything's pretty. I just I don't understand the connection with the Mandela's, but it's very, very beautiful. And then on the inside here, you get this giant one as well. So it's kind of cool. And then on the inside, you get 16 shades, uh, nine shimmer shades and seven mattes. And personally, I was really drawn to these colors. And honestly, they're even more beautiful in person, if you ask me. So I wanted to do some swatches for you guys. I'm to show you the shades that you're gonna get. So let me swatch the first row here. I did use this eyeshadow palette on my eyes, so I'm going to show you guys the demo next, but let's do some swatches first. So there is the first rose. We have Jasmine, we have Clove, we have Amber, and Patchouli. 
I have patchouli all over my lid and then I did put clove in my crease and then amber of course stood out to me right away because it's a beautiful yellow gold and then jasmine is just like a nice champagne lid color. You would see that pretty much in any palette these days. Okay, so these are the swatches from the next row. Let me go ahead and swatch them on my arm here for you guys. So here they are. We have bergamot, starry nights, cinnamon, and then bros, which is that beautiful vibrant pink shade. I think these are swatching very true to color if you ask me and they are very vibrant on the lid I mean you'll see it in my eye look but it's the same look I'm wearing right now and I think it's very very vibrant and I did this eye look at about 1 this afternoon and now it's about 6 o'clock here in Fargo so I think it's lasting really really well I'm so far really impressed actually by this palette. So here is the next row. It's kind of like the berry row. So we have this shade, which you're not really going to see, but it's called Nutmeg right here. And then this purpley shade is called Rosewood, which I really think is beautiful. And I'm wearing it in the outer crease. And then we have Manuka, which is this beautiful brown shade. And then Berry, which is a nice burgundy red shade. Okay, so these are the last four shades. I'm going to swatch on this side just to make it easier for you guys to see. So we have Tangerine, which this color like spoke to me right away. Mandarin, and then Juniper, and Neroli, which is the black shade. So I think these colors are very, very, very pretty. Okay, guys, now that you've seen the swatches, let's go ahead and hop into my demo of this palette. So guys, I already primed and powdered my lids, but... What I'm going to do is set the primer anyway with an eyeshadow. This shade Patchouli is of course like a perfect creamy color to just set the powder down. So I'm just going to sweep that all over my lid. I'm using a Morphe M516. Nothing special. It's kind of a scratchy brush actually. Um, but I just wanted a big fluffy brush to set my eyelids with. Now I'm going to go in with a blending brush. This is a Morphe M330 and we're going to start with, I really like the shade Clove. It's like a beautiful peachy orange color. So I'm just going to tap into that. Okay, next I'm going to go in with the shade Tangerine. I thought the shape was really beautiful as well. I'm going to focus this more on the outer part of the crease and also lower in the crease just to kind of give Clove its own moment. But oh my god, this shade is so pretty. Okay, and then I want to go in with the shade rosewood which is like a really pretty purple i'm just going to keep using the same brush now this i'm really going to focus on the outer portion love 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 and now i'm just going to do a lid shade and we're going to be done I like to keep my eye looks really simple. I always do the same thing, guys. I'm not like a professional by any means, but I feel like it's still, I do the least and it still looks like I tried. So I'm grateful for that. So lid shades, I would think of Jasmine, Amber, Bergamot, Starry Nights looks really beautiful. Mandarin looks like a beautiful shade. Nuka, Berry, all really, really beautiful. Shimmer shades that I think would look really beautiful on the lid. I'm trying to think of, I'm gravitating towards the shade Mandarin because it's like a beautiful bronzy copper shade. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I feel like this would be really beautiful foiled. So let's try it first without foiling it. So I'm just gonna tap in with a flat brush and I just like to put my lid colors obviously on the lid and just kind of tap them on. This is not doing anything. So let me grab a setting spray and we will try to foil these. Okay, so for my setting spray, I just got the Scandinavia one. I have a lot of setting sprays that I just want to like finish up in my collection. These ones in particular are supposed to be the 
same people that make Urban Decay setting sprays, and I really don't like these. So I really don't think I'll like the Urban Decay ones. So I'm just dipping in. This almost looks exactly like the look I created with the Marc Jacobs palette. But the Marc Jacobs one was definitely subtle. I feel like the mattes in this are much more vibrant. I'm not getting a whole lot of pigment from this shimmer shade. Okay, there we go. I don't know if I just didn't wet the brush enough or what. This brush might be really thick too, the one I'm using to pack on the color. I didn't get any fallout, so that's good. I'm just going to stop right there. It's a very vibrant look, but let me finish everything off and then I will be right back. Okay guys, now that you saw the demo, I just want to round everything up. I personally really think this palette would be suitable for more skin tones. I think the colors are very vibrant and I think you pretty much have everything you need to kind of do a basic look with this and then there's some fun pops of color to really amp up your look as well. Now, as you saw in the demo, I think this is definitely like a very vibrant look, but I did wear it in the daytime for me. This is like pretty normal. Some people might be like, oh my gosh, that's a lot of orange and pink, but I think it's a very fun look and it wasn't anything like out of the box for me. So I personally think this is like a, a day wear look for me, even though the colors are very, very vibrant. So they definitely stand out, especially with my, you know, skin tone. I think it really amplifies the look, but I do see this as being, you know, a good palette for many different skin tones. I think with something like this, it's just gonna be like, are you gonna appreciate these colors? Or are you more of a neutral person? Or do you tend to wear more greens? I feel like this is a good, like, in the middle, has like a good mix, good pops of color. But if you were to like cover up some of these like brighter colors, I think it pretty much just makes like a neutral palette, you know? So I think it has a little bit of everything for everyone. And then as far as shipping, I just wanted to mention, I did order this on 1030 and then I received it on 1103 which it did take a little while to get to me, but I mean, that's pretty standard with the postal service and stuff like that. Um, I had already mentioned that this is cruelty free. And then as far as application and wear time, I think the demo really shows you guys there really wasn't a whole lot of fallout with this. I did have to wet my brush to kind of get a more vibrant look with the shade Mandarin, but I mean, that's to be expected with a lot of these foil shadows. I think the swatches are very beautiful. Hopefully this gives you an idea of what this palette might look like on your skin tone if we have similar skin tones. And then finally, would I recommend this palette? I think just based off of using it once, I definitely would uh, recommend this palette if you think this is in your price point. I think that since this was their first venture into eyeshadow, it would be more accessible if it was at a lesser price point. I think like $35 would seem less intimidating, but since it's at the $38.99, I feel like it almost is so close to $40. It definitely deterred me from buying it the first time, obviously because I waited until the sale. So those are just my personal thoughts. I don't think this is a bad palette at all for the $40 price tag. The other reason I did hesitate to buy it too was because I thought it kind of looked like this palette. And this is the Juvia's Place Nubian 2 palette. And it has some of those similar shades, like the blue, this orange, and there's like a purple here that reminds me a lot of rosewood. So very, very similar shades. I think if you have this one, you could probably pass on this, but um, obviously you're getting a few more shades in this palette as well. So keep those things in mind. I think they're both great palettes by, you know, awesome indie makeup brands. This one has been a around for a long, long time though. So this is definitely something new to my collection and I, I believe it's a new product as well. Okay guys, that is everything I wanted to share with you about this Ace Beauté Quintessential Palette. 
Let me know your thoughts. Are you planning on picking up this palette? Have you heard of this brand before? What are your favorite lashes from them? Let me know all the good stuff down in the comments. I'd be so happy to hear from you guys. And also don't forget to enter that giveaway. Everything's in the description box. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.